Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, use API Gateway uh, stage variables to call a specific Lambda alias. To do that I have created a sample uh, API and in that I have created some resources. Uh, so let me go ahead and create a method. Uh, let's just use get and save it. Now once you save, uh, you will you can integrate it with Lambda function or there are a couple of other options. Uh, for this video, I want to show how you can call a specific Lambda function. So select the integration type as Lambda function. And in Lambda function, auto completes uh, the Lambdas that are available in this particular region, which is uh, North Virginia, uh, which is US East one. So you click that. Now uh, we just don't want to call this function but we want to call an alias of this function. To do that simply say colon uh, dollar stage variables dot lambda alias and this should be uh, inside curly brackets. Now this says that you need to pick the alias data from stage variables and the variable name is called lambda alias. So you need to go to corresponding stage and define this. So once you have added it over here, simply click on save and it will tell you that you are using lambda alias and that you need to uh, replace this uh, lambda alias and call this from your command line. So let's go ahead and copy this. Uh, I'm going to save it here and we will change this with the alias that we create in some time and we will run it using command line. So let's just click on OK. Uh, it will save in some time. Meanwhile, we'll go to the Lambda and we will create a version and an alias uh, out of the existing one. So, so currently it is pointing to uh, latest. Uh, so let's go ahead and publish a new version. Let's just call it two, publish it and now what we'll do is we will create an alias. Let's just call it dev and it will point to the three uh, third version and let's just say create. Now we have created a dev alias of this particular Lambda. So if you go to API Gateway uh, and invoke this Lambda, the alias, the Lambda alias variable that we have defined should be dev. Right. Before we can test this out, uh, let's go ahead and execute the permission uh, command that we were asked to do. So let me go back to sublime text and let's just replace this with dev. And I would need some more things like profile and my profile is called OSFG. Now this is required because I have multiple AWS profiles configured on my local. Uh, if you have just one then you do not need this. Uh, next thing that you need is the region. So the region should be US East 1 because as we saw uh, some time back it was uh, North Virginia which is US East 1 but if it is different for you you can put that region as well. So let's just copy this go to our command line and let's just run this command. And you can see uh, it uh, it gave us some uh, response which says that uh, this particular permission has been added to Lambda. So uh, the API gateway should be able to call this particular Lambda. Now once we do that, uh, we can simply go ahead and test it out uh, and it should work. But before we do that, uh, I just wanted to show you one thing. So to actually set uh, the stage variables, you need to go to stages and let's say we want to do it at a dev level. Uh, you need to go to stage variables. You need to add a stage variable. You need to call it Lambda alias. So this is the same variable that we used uh, in the Lambda ARN and in the value should be whatever uh, version or alias we want. So it is dev. So let's go ahead and save this. And this is where it will actually get invoked using this. So we will see that sometime. But before we do that, let's go back to our resource. Let's go back to our get and let's go ahead and test it out. So in the Lambda alias, uh, it will ask you what value do you need. Let's just say uh, dev and let's call test. And you can see that it has replied uh, with a response and you can see it says receive response uh, from the Lambda 
uh, hello from Lambda. And this is something that is already part of uh, the Lambda. So let's go back and see what it returns. So you can see it returns hello from Lambda and this is uh, the one that we have gotten over here. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can quickly change this from version from alias dev and let's just save it one more time. We will publish this new version. Let's call it for publish and let's go to our alias and our alias is dev four okay and once that is done let's go back to api gateway and test this one more time and here you can see it says hello from lambda from alias dave so now you know that uh, it is working fine so we created uh, an alias of the lambda and we configured stage uh, variables to point to that uh, lambda alias and the test is working fine now let's go back to our stages and see how it actually works when we invoke this API. Before we uh, see it in stages, you actually need to deploy our API. So go back to your uh, API, select action and say deploy API and put it in dev and just say deploy. And this should deploy your API into the dev stage. So now go back to your stages and select dev. And this is the invoke URL. So you can just open it in new tab and you can see it says hello from uh, hello from lambda from uh, alias dev now this is same thing that we saw and put it into our lambda into the new version uh, let's just confirm it one more time there we go so uh, you can see that this is working fine so uh, to summarize what we did we first went to resource uh, we created a, a method called get we set up lambda proxy uh, for this particular uh, method and we set it to my test lambda and then we set dollar stage variables dot lambda alias so this uh, should be replaced at runtime uh, and it should point to the corresponding alias version next what we did is we went to our lambda we published a new version and then we created an alias and then we pointed that alias to that particular version uh, which is uh, set to reply or respond with hello from lambda from uh, alias dev and once that is done uh, we went ahead and uh, did a test and during the test uh, it will ask you to actually add that stage variable and uh, for the actual prod version you need to go to the stage and go to a respective stage and there is a section called stage variables in which you can add that stage variable uh, name and the actual value and the most important thing is once you uh, create the stage variable and set up in the Lambda, you need to call that or set that permission uh, in the API gateway. So AWS uh, prompts you to call that particular command line API. And this is the one that we executed. Uh, just make sure you replace uh, the actual dollar uh, stage variable start lambda alias or the stage variable name with your actual uh, lambda name and alias and you also need to give profile and region uh, if that is not configured in your default profile and once you done do that uh, you should be good to go right so this is how you can use a stage variable to uh, call a particular lambda alias uh, instead of just that lambda and you can have multiple stages calling multiple uh, Lambda aliases that correspond to each one of your stage, right? So uh, that's all for this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you